So here we have this font style previewer and if I change the font then here you can see the changes are getting reflected. I can change the font size as well and also I have the option of changing the font styles. So today we are going to build this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 37th video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are grabbing these HTML elements and here we have this object to track the active styles and here we are calling this update font family function to initialize our page with default values and as soon as this font is changed we are calling these two functions that is update font family and highlight change. Now for the size buttons here here we are applying this for each loop and what it does it is getting here this data size and in our HTML file you can see that here and data size can have three values that is small medium and this large. So first it is removing all the classes and then applying the changes and in the similar way we are applying the styles as well i'm not going into each and every detail of this code you can get the github repository link inside the description of this video and there you can check the complete code and here we have this helper function to update the font family and here we have another function that is update styles display to add the bold italic or underlined style and then here we have those remaining two function that is capitalized first letter and the highlight change function so in this code the main logic was updating the styling of the text now before we take a look on our ui there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here we have the ui 